നമുക്ക് ക്രിസ്തു മുഖാന്തരം വിശ്വാസത്താൽ പ്രവേശനം ലഭിച്ചു we got access to the grace by believing jesus christ his son amen amen so the father will not to hallelujah in the world you are yes hallelujah as in the kingdom yes praise the lord nan doorave aayirunu paapam chey ായ പിതാവിന് ദൂരവയായിരുന്നു ഇന്ന് പകൽ ഒരു ഇൻസ്ട്രമെന്റും ഒരു പാട്ടും ഇല്ലെങ്കിലും ദൈവത്തെ ആരാധിക്കാൻ വേറൊന്നും വേണ്ട ശാന്തമായൊരു മലയാളം പാട്ടുമാണ് ദുരത്തിരുന്നായി ദ്രോഹിയാമൻ ദുരത്തിരുന്നായി ദ്രോഹിയാമൻ Lord 
It is by your grace, Lord, that we stand here this morning, Lord. Without your grace, O oh Lord, hallelujah, Father God, we would have perished, O oh Lord. We thank you, Father God, for your loving kindness, Father God, that you have showered upon us this morning, Lord. Father God, we thank you, Father God, for your people, Lord. I pray, Father God, that you bless your, bless your people this morning, Lord. Father God, give them the deliverance, Father God, that their hearts are yearning for, Father God, this morning, Lord. Lord, I pray, Father God, that you heal the sick, Father God, Lord. I pray, Father God, that you deliver, Father God, those who are bound, Lord. Father God, heal the brokenhearted this morning, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for your servant, Lord, as he's here to minister your word, Lord. I pray that you don't anoint him, Father God, Lord Jesus, Father God. Let the fire that the of the word of God, Lord, and it fall upon our lives, Lord Jesus, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for hearing our word. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this blessed morning we have this morning. And let's be in the presence of God in much prayer. And I want to share, conclude the word of God uh, quickly. want to share a few things and pray for those who are leaving for India as before we conclude. And the grace in which we stand. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we're going to share a few things very quickly and we're going to worship God. And I hope that you won't be bothered by it, but if there is time permitting, I would like to sing a Hindi song before the message ends. But I will tell you the meaning of it before I sing that song. And I thank the Lord for the word that the Lord has given us this morning. And the Holy Spirit of God has been dealing in kind with this about mentioned scripture as he's been speaking to us. And we should not be stingy in giving praises to God this morning. Amen. And we have to be in the presence of God with much joy. And let our wallets or our purses rob us of our happiness and joy. And because our joy does not depend on any of these. And because His presence is here this morning. The theological explanation of about Christ Jesus and our life. And uh, we, we read from Romans through the book of James about the theological explanation of Christ Jesus. And if we study those scripture portions, those scriptures uh, together, it is very, uh, very helpful for us in understanding. And in four episodes, we read Christ who was in his human form. And about his birth. And about his growth. And his three and a half year ministry. And Christ who goes, when he goes to a, a, a home in which there is death, he cries. And the Lord who solves issues in a home where there is a wedding happening. And Jesus who gave his life at the cross at Calvary uh, and Jesus who was buried and about what the Lord had done in his human flesh that is written in the uh, scriptures and but in the episodes we see that he is being presented in his divine form about his divinity and I spoke about this a couple of weeks ago from the book of Romans and that we will never be ashamed hallelujah hallelujah and uh, the episode of the Romans is something that ha contains everything that is needed for a child of God. And the episode of the Romans is one of the best episodes that he has written, that he has written about the Apostle Paul. And I've heard a sermon of God say like this. And even if we do not get 65 of the 66 books of the word of God in our hands, and it is not, not that it is going to happen, and even if we do not receive the 60s, Five of the 66 books. And if all, if all we have is the book of Romans, that's enough. 
യഹൂദന്റെ പുനരുദ്ധാനം ഇതെല്ലാം വിവരിച്ചെഴുതിയിരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു ലേഖനമായ മറ്റ് <laughs> ജോയിനിംഗ്ലിഫിക്കേഷൻ <laughs> Thank you and this with our guys glorification amen ah glorification bahutti karano glorification praise the lord ജീവിക്കുന്നവനാണ് <laughs> the the next that is glorification tomorrow kai edichu paliyo nu angottu povathilla and just because we clap our hands and sing we won't go get there hallelujah hallelujah sutthiyalum praavichavane thejaskarana praavikkum and only those who have received the sanctification will receive glorification 9 mudal 11 varu jangil yehudane petti yala varu in chapters 9 through 11 it talks about the jews abraham ne sandhidiyilna ulpavichu vanna yehuda jaadi and the, the jewish kingdom or the land that had come from the so the seed of abraham they were tirangedu and the lord had chosen them one qualification illade thanda sonda janamai they were worthy and with no prior qualification the lord had sent them aside as his own people they were with and they were going to save us on they of our tall and because they had forsook the lord and had served other gods the lord forsook them as well on the 11th and 11th our tall till our wind our they will restore you and we read in the chapter 11 that there he is not for forever forsaken them but rather is the time when he will gather them together we will be we will not say no and i'm just giving you another explanation of it but chapters 12 through 16 practical christian life and our uh, practical life ജീവിതത്തിൽ <laughs> <laughs> make sure the two pianos are there and and the piano are on this something you are idakke ondengile namak aadhigam padum and if all these things are there only then can we worship idonnu kaanadhu poya aaradhana verthu and if all these things have been lost or stolen will worship not be revealed and how silent quiet we become idonnu illathu nirash pole avan irikkunnu and we are sitting as if we don't have any of these above mentioned things pandrannu thodangane nadu yam and i'm just starting with chapter 12 you are aaradhikanam and do you need to worship god bring your body and ningale sharirangale ദൈവസ്ഥലത്തേക്ക് കൊണ്ടുവരിക നിങ്ങളുടെ ശരീരത്തെ കൊണ്ടുവരിക ആൻഡ് ദ ലോർഡ് സസ് ബ
And you've come, that is therefore worship. Amen. Can we praise God this morning? And the instruments only help, only if you are here, would worship take place. And therefore, we have not come to worship God by seeing the instruments that are here, whether they're there or not. And can we praise God this morning? And present your bodies as living, as holy, acceptable to God. And therefore, when you present yourself as a living sacrifice, what is happening? And there will be a renewing of your mind. Let me go forward. And here the scripture portion that we've read. And it's chapter 5, verse 2. And would you read chapter 5, verse 2? And the faith that lasts and the grace that lasts. And the, the faith that works in us. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And the grace that stands. The word grace is a word that confuses many of us. And many times when we hear the word grace, people are uh, apt to reject it sometimes. And there are some grace communities that adhere to that kind of theology. And that is a, a, is a different kind of community. But let's today, let's think about what grace is all about. And therefore, we're going to go calmly so we may understand similar to a Bible study. And where are we standing? <coughs> and we're standing in grace. Amen. And that is a very good verse for us, scripture for us. And before we came to this grace, and we read in Galatians, and, we, and before we came and after we've come. And all we have to do is sit here calmly and think about it. And how our lives were before we were saved. And our state of our lives after we were saved. And we can turn that or split that into three. And before we were saved, we were in that particular state. Wretched state. Wretched. Amen. And a, a wretched state. And we have come from that wretched state to a blessed state after we're saved. I mean, we come to that in a better state. Virtuous. Amen. Better state. Amen. Listen carefully. And where, where have we come from and where are we going to? Amen. And we have left that wretched state and we have received that virtuous state. And what is that second condition? And we have been brought from that wretched state to a more virtuous state. And that the Lord desires that we are all virtuous. Amen. And who are we? And we are virtuous people. Amen. And that is what the Lord desires as well. And for that, what have we done? And we have discarded that old man, that sinful nature. Amen. And that and we have discarded that old man that had full of sins and those who have that realization would you praise God and no one but me haven't praised amen and what did you do to that nature of sin when you have put aside what happens and you have become virtuous hallelujah amen and when an owner of the field came to it and there was a young lady picking up the sheaves. And she asked, and who brought who had who has 
placed this un unknown person here and sent her away. And what do the people say? No, 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 no. And she's a virtuous woman. And who is this? Ruth. It is talks about Ruth. And she is a virtuous woman. And did not send her away in that manner. And it was Boaz himself who was saying this. And when I try to put you aside, the people said that you're a virtuous woman. And what, and what matters is what do the people say about us? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what do the people say about us? And the people said that you're a, a virtuous woman. And what is the reason as to why she was called a virtuous woman? And in the place where she had no eligibility. And from a tribe of no eligibility. And from a tradition of no eligibility. And in the place where she could not be joined to the children of Israel for 10 years. And through a Noah, she had a revelation of the living God. Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! And there she took a decision. And that and it is our decisions that many times make us worship us. And it is because you have known this God that you have become a person. And it is your decision that you've come to the presence of God. And children of God, there is a great price to those decisions that we take. And we do not sit here simply. And for a, in a particular moment. And the decision that we took in of us. And do you remember that decision that you've taken? And as Rajmanti has said, we do not know when a person, when the Lord is going to work in a person's life. But one thing we do know, and that when the Lord had worked, and that day we took a decision, you have to come to the presence of God. And you have to come to the presence of God. And you have to come to the presence of God. And you have to come to the presence of God. And you have to come to the presence of God. And you have to come to the presence of God. Oh, hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah. And that is the transformation of our life. Like I said, there's a great value in our decisions. And secondly, brothers were walking. And they were Abraham and Lot. And the Lord blessed both of them. And they were particular. But when it came to certain, uh, turning points in their lives, and children of God, we shouldn't forget one thing. And, and every day of our lives, that we have this turning point in our lives. And is there anyone who believes that? And in every turn of our life, there's this turning point. And it was a good beginning. And he was walking along with those who have received a good revelation. But when it came to that particular moment, and what did they say one to another? And if you are this way, then I will go this the other way. And we cannot go forward together. And there has been a change in your vision. And you are looking downward as you walk. And I look upwards as I walk. Amen. And that was the decision of Abraham. And we have taken such decisions as we set forth. And we are those who know the world and have passed away and that we have set forth. And what is the end fruits of that decision? And the blessing of it starts in Matthew chapter 1 verse 1. And this is of the genealogy of, uh, of Abraham. And it is coming to sit upon the throne of David. Who is the son of Abraham? And is there an importance for your decision this morning therefore? And therefore children of God thank the Lord for your children and when the give thanks for the parents and the children and it is only because the Lord has paid a way that we have that blessing up, that we can take up to eternity but Lot and he began in 
Genesis ended in Genesis. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me go forward quickly. And he took a decision. And was a virtuous woman. And they were the she got from, and from that was rich, which was wretched, and came to the virtuous. But it doesn't stop there. Amen. And if you ask Paul, he will say, and that which you have set, up, set aside, and which you have set your vice to, and to be with Christ, and that is more important, virtuous. And that is our hope. And that we will leave all these things behind. And we will leave all these chairs behind. And that we will leave the things of the world behind. And we will leave that which is born behind. And there is a day in which we will put out immortality and that which is virtuous. Amen. Hallelujah. And therefore understand. And we, we, uh, we came from the wretched state to a virtuous state. And when we had put aside our nature of flesh, and when we have received going from mortality to mortality, and we would remove our oh, physical bodies. Amen. And that we would receive a glorified body. And if you pinch our physical bodies, there's pain. And if we are mocked, we would get angry. And if there is any problem, then we are sad. And everything is in, in this. Amen. And in one of these days, and that as the, uh, the snake sheds his skin. Yes, skins, amen. And we, will, and we will shed this whole body and receive that which is which is immortal. Amen. And from that which is wretched to a virtual state. <laughs> and if we live uh, right there, we will receive that which is virtuous, more virtuous. And are we prepared to live in that manner? And in this today, I'm talking about the way in which we conduct our lives. And uh, yeah, this morning I'm talking about Hindu or And our main uh, verse is chapter 5, verse 2 of Romans. And we received entrance into that grace by faith. Hallelujah. Amen. And let me tell about these three thoughts quickly. And then what is grace? Chapter 1, verse 16. John chapter 116. And the fullness of grace. John, John, John. Ah, John. and of his fullness we have all received and grace for grace Amen. Amen. and the Lord came into this world and, and that he appeared as I spoke last time he appeared here and how did he come in the fullness of grace and truth Amen. and therefore what was in him and he had grace and he was full of grace and truth and he was here in that manner 16 verse 16 and from his fullness of his fullness Amen. and we all have of his fullness what have we received and grace for grace 
And therefore, what is grace? Jesus. Amen. And therefore, grace is Jesus Himself. Amen. And we are thinking about grace as something that I think that we can buy from the stores, but it is the Lord Himself who is full of grace. And can we say a good praise this morning? And in Him was grace. And when you see Him, you know He's grace. And when His grace is poured into us, and when grace upon grace is being poured into us, and which, when we say that grace has come into our lives, that means the Lord has come into our lives. Hallelujah. 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 And therefore, when we live our lives in Him, what do we have? Kruba, Kruba, grace we have grace in us. Amen. Kruba, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And chapter, uh, first John. Chapter 2, verse 28. And would you read quickly? And in the first appearance, what was that? Pidava and when the father had sent the son and the son had appeared in this world and by that what did we receive and from him that grace was poured into us and we received access to that grace Amen. and to where and we got entered into that the door of grace and the next verse we read we read and he will appear again and abide in him so that we not be we not be ashamed we not be ashamed and have confidence before him at his coming. In him. And those who abide in him, that is his grace. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And only those who abide in him will have the confidence and not be ashamed at him before him at his coming. And are you understanding this morning? And this is a true event. And then when I was working, uh, there was a time, uh, there was a Hindi, Hindi man next to me, next, uh, next door. I don't remember his name. And his wife one day came and asked, uh, said, you make, and told the husband, you please uh, make dinner tonight. And he said, no problem, I will make it. And he went to the store and he bought a fish of the sea. And he made the curry. And it was the wife's birthday that day. And he was preparing the meal and it was a good smell coming. And when the, uh, she tasted the fish, what happened? What was not there? There was no salt. And the wife asked, what is this? And just like we ask. <laughs> and and I, I'm, I'm asking, what did the wife ask? And the husband says, I made fish curry at, for your uh, birthday. And then she asks, why is there no salt? And the, why, why the need for salt? The husband asks. And is it the fish of the sea? <laughs> and this was before my marriage. This was a, uh, a couple that lived next door to me. And the fish, and the fish grows in a salty environment. Why, does, why do we need to add more salt? Amen. And this fish is, is in the sea. And this is living in that grace. 
And even though it is in this world, and if you're in grace, and the Lord will allow the blemishes of the world to enter into you. And can we praise God this morning? And if you're in grace, and the Lord will allow other things to happen in your life, and those who believe that, would you praise God this morning? Amen. And God says, and literally the children of Israel walked through the wilderness. And what did the Lord say? And you didn't walk. And just as a father picks up or takes care of his son, I have upheld you in my arms. And I'm not saying it simply. And let me prove it to you. 40 years. And your clothes have not gone bad. And many times in 4 or 5 years, our shorts get worn. And for 40 years, your clothes do not rope be worn. And there was someone said that they had kept changing their slippers along the way. Because that is what is written. And they did not have to change their, their yeah. shoes, their feet, their slippers. And would Levi's shoe fit me? And what is the reason? And only if his, uh, his shoes grow according to his feet will it fit him. And when you, when the Bible says like that, you believe likewise. Amen. But one thing. And if you are in his heart, in his hands, in his grace. And it is you, he that upholds you. And the Lord will allow the, 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 the things of the world to cling unto you. Hallelujah. Amen. And therefore, what is grace? And we should say aloud. And I know you are doubting, but say aloud. What is grace? Yes, Jesus. I mean, it's Amen. the Lord Himself who is grace. And if you are in Him, you are standing in grace. And I have and access to Him, therefore I have access to grace. And therefore, let me say quickly what a grace is. And, and chapter, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. And a saint of God is praying. And for this matter to be removed from him, what was the Lord's answer? And therefore, don't, you don't pray about this matter anymore. And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you. And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you. Amen. And therefore, what is this? For my strength. What is grace? Is the grace is the strength of God. Amen. And what is grace? Is the strength of God. And when that grace is being poured into your life, and He will strengthen the weak areas of your life. Amen. Hallelujah. And those who say that the Lord is, and those who say that I dwell in Christ, and there is no way that they can renew their strength. Because the strength of the Lord works in them. And there was a servant of God who had spoken to counsel. And uh, he said, Ahab, run, uh, get your chariot and go. And it has been some time that it has not been raining in the land. And as I was standing on my knees, the Lord told me last night that the, Lord, the, Lord, the, Lord, the sound of a great rain coming. And this morning, this morning, the church received the counsel of God. And you have to hear that resound. The resonance. Amen. And the and the counsel was said. And to whom was it said? It was said to Ahab. And while there was drought in the land, there was no water for anyone. And the, the servant of God who said that message at least honored him. And therefore, uh, Ahab knows who Elijah is and uh, by himself. And he's one who had proved who his God is. Amen. 
And if that person says the counsel of the Lord, and that the king would understand that this is truly from God, but when he had heard the counsel, and he ignored him, and there was uh, horses to that chariot, and he got on it, Amen. And those whom you think will help you. And there will be times when they ignore you. Hallelujah. Amen. And those whom you think will encourage you. And there are times when they will reject you. And is there anyone who has an experience with you? Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in the initial message that we say, that is where grace is poured out. And that is where grace is poured out. And the power of God came down upon Elijah. Hallelujah. Amen. And when the power of God came down upon him, and to the chariot, and to one ahead of the chariot of, of uh, Ahab. Okay, bye bye. And he said bye bye to Ahab as he left. And when the, uh, the chariot reached its end point, he when, saw the person that was at the beginning. King the Bariman, and the same servant of God who was there to say, Welcome back, King. And, and that was the grace of God that was poured into him. And let me say the song as best I can do. And grace is the strength of God. And grace is Christ and that's the strength of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And if grace is the strength of God. And the Lord will enable you to run in the place where you ought to run. Hallelujah. And Joseph when he saw that woman he ran away from her. Hallelujah. And it is the grace of God that enables you to run away from the things that you ought to run away from. And but there's one more thing. And what did the other saint of God say? And will someone like me run from this matter? And what is the reason for that? And when Sanballat and Tomayah they came and said that the work of God was not happening. And this is what Hamayah says. And will someone like me run away from this? And you praise God this morning. And you need that strength to run away from sin. And you also need that same strength to challenge you. And this is all the grace of God in it. Point number three. And the third point. And access to grace. And when you open the door and you came in, and all the saints of God are here, and there is a time when the servants of God come onto the stage, and they are standing here and they are ministering, and it is because I gained an access to the stage that I am standing here, and what is grace? And it is the platform in which I am standing. And you can understand what I've said. And a, sermon, a child of God should understand that I'm standing on a platform. And what I desire to do. I want to reflect to somebody. And Yana Ario reflects here. And I have to reflect Christ before I'm standing on that platform. And what is that platform called? Is the grace of God. Amen. And in the book of Leviticus, we read. And would you read that quickly for me? And the book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 12. 
അമേരിക്കൻ <laughs> കൾച്ചർ cultural differences and people say cultural differences uh, uh, generational difference and generational difference and generational difference and cultural differences, and cultural differences. and there is no such thing in the word of god and there is only one culture grace culture is a, a culture of grace or grace culture amen and you've not understood it seems one culture and there is only one culture grace culture is the grace culture and what is the reason our platform grace because our platform is grace now we're in the area and where are we standing hallelujah 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 they must have a true culture and there is only one culture for the house one culture for the house now we are in the area എന്നാലും <laughs> 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 but if it was myself i would have cancelled it and there will be a group but there's a group a big group behind me and she got to the angle party ke pika nu parayum and those who say give me the chance i will sing and show avaru paada po and they are going to come and sing i malayalam njan parnicha paadu and i will say the malayalam the translation of it before we sing now the bandha grace endo and therefore what is grace Jesus Christ Jesus Christ and grace the only the only people and the grace community le and we are not in that grace community we are very gospel we say <laughs> and what is grace is jesus and we have to abide in him and that is that's what it means to abide in grace what is grace therefore is the power of god ee kristuvil aanengil kribayil aanengil amanil aanengil avante shakthi ninil vyaavu and if you are in grace you are in him his strength it works in you or so somebody am and we praise god this morning you want to come to god like i am in god and and we uh, we claim our right to gospel as many times hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah amanil vadikum we have to abide in him വിശ്വസിക്കുന്ന നമുക്ക് വേണ്ടി വ്യാപരിക്കുന്ന അവന്റെ ശക്തിയുടെ and you have to know adagonda 5 minutes you are edukunnathu and that is why taking another 5 minutes amen 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 hallelujah bible says you ninga bible avaru ninga ariyanam and you have to know this endu vaakku vel and what grace is is devajithya and this is the power of god endu devajithya and what kind of power is this astu shakthi aanu vaaji and would you read mightly again bara 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 avante balathil vallapotha avante balathil ah വിശ്വസിക്കുന്ന നമുക്ക് വേണ്ടി വ്യാപരിക്കുന്ന അവന്റെ ശക്തിയുടെ അളവറ്റ വലിപ്പം ശക്തിയുടെ അളവറ്റ വലിപ്പം നമ്മിൽ തന്നു അതേ ശക്തി അതേ വ്യക്തി ആരും വ്യാപരിച്ചു ക്രിസ്തുവിലും വ്യാപരിച്ചു 
And what what is working in Christ is working in us as well. And those who believe that we can praise God. And what is working in Christ is working in us as well. And the Bible gives proof of that. The next. And when that worked in Christ, and from the dead, he raised him. And where did he raise him from? And what is the reason for it? And that power. And that power of God. And he raised him from the dead. And this morning, where in the midst of what are you in? And is there anything in your life that is dead that has been dead in your life? And if there is an issue in your life that people have said is dead, the power of God will rise it up, raise it up from there. Amen. And this morning, go forth with boldness. And one of these days, and in the midst of those depressions, and the midst of your ostracization, and in the midst of your financial issues, and in the midst of the issues of your children, and with this power of God, you're going to be able to rise up from there. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this morning you have to believe as you leave this place. And do not just say here the message of grace, but say the grace works in me. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And let me conclude my words quickly. And I've said three things. And what is grace? Grace is and Kruba Christu Atre. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> And grace is the power. And secondly, and grace is the power of God. And grace is a platform. And third, grace is a platform. And you have to perform well. And this anniversary of ours this year. And our participants. And they access the stage from the place they were sitting. And they performed well. And upon the and you all clap your hands and appreciated them. And from many other many people, I heard that this anniversary was a very good one. And what when you came and sat here, that's not what was well. And what was on the performance of the stage was what was said to be well. And those who stand in the grace of God will perform accordingly. And those who have seen it should say it is a good thing. And our performance will be so that such others should say this is a virtuous man, virtuous woman. Last point. And my last point. And grace is not alone. And grace and truth. And the truth of the doctrine of the gospel, the word, it has to go together. Number number two. And secondly, and grace and uh, discernment. Right. And the one who has grace is not foolish but has discernment. And in, our, and in the episodes we read, grace and peace be unto you. Amen. And is, does, do we have that peace in our lives? And is there anyone who lacks joy? And do not worry about anything? And that's a scripture in the word, in the word of God. And what is the scripture? And worry about nothing. And it is very easy to preach it. We know what our issues are. And when we say be anxious for nothing. And what is it? the end of it says? In all your yeah. prayers and supplications make known the And there also is praise is there. And give your let your supplications be known unto God and praise. Amen. And the grace of God which covers all understanding. Pass the understanding. And with the choir come forward. And only take a minute. And the grace of God that covers the pass the understanding. And the peace of God. And we'll guard our minds, our hearts in Christ Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And therefore, what is there along with grace? Is there's truth there? What is there with grace? And there is discernment there. What is there with grace? And there is peace. Amen. Can we praise God this morning? 
ഒരു പീസ്ഫുൾ അറ്റ്മോസ്ഫിയർ നമ്മുടെ ഉള്ളിലും നമ്മുടെ ആത്മാവിലും and if the lord is there there is a peaceful atmosphere in our homes and our hearts അത് നമ്മുടെ സഭയിലും കാണും that will be in our church as well praise the lord amen hallelujah hallelujah ഇത് വർക്ക് ആണ് വർക്ക് and this morning let's not forget രണ്ട് വാക്യങ്ങൾ എഴുതിയിട്ടുണ്ട് just two scriptures that is written there and it is a statement of the apostle paul and one says and first it says but what is the next next slide uh but by the grace of god amen i am what i am yan kriya kriya yan aara irikkunu amen okay and his grace toward me was not in vain amen but i labored more abundantly than they all yet not i by the grace of god which was with me amen yan alla onniche it was not i that did anything yan avan angana pal telivu sen pal amen that's why i said it yan onnu cheyilla that i have not done anything ennil avane sanithu undu because his grace was in me ennil avane shakthi undu and his strength was in me yan avanil nilkunu and i am standing in him yan alla it is not i Amen. But it is Amen. the Lord Himself. Romans chapter eleven, verse eleven. And in Romans eleven, verse eleven. Amen. 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 Amen.
And if you have that grace, the power of God is in you. And if you have that grace, you have access to that platform, that platform. And those who believe that, would you praise God? Thank you, Lord. Amen. And do not fail against the enemy and run away. But to run away from sin, that strength will help you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! And let our hearts be filled with that divine peace of the Lord. And let us pray.